Hey y'all, welcome back. Jeremy from thetruthaboutguns.com here. That's Dan, our managing editor, creeping in the background. I am out with something brand new from Smith & Wesson. This is the M&P 9 Shield Plus. And if you didn't read the engraving on the slide, you would really never know that it wasn't a regular shield. The same M&P shield that people have known and loved for many, many years. But this one has a trick up its sleeve in order to compete with guns like the SIG P365, which are subcompacts, right? Teeny tiny little carry guns, but have a higher than normal, higher than a single stack capacity. Uh, they've done a little bit of a trick and they've made the magazine hold a lot more. So it tapers up to a single stack at the top and then it opens up. The flush fitting magazine holds 10 rounds. So you can have a 10 plus one capacity in a teeny tiny little Smith & Wesson shield. Man, great, great trigger. I mean, really good. The little trigger safety blade is nice and wide, so it feels good on your finger. And it's just so crisp, very crisp, light trigger. Really, really impressive. I like it a lot. I like the grip texture. It doesn't look like much, but it's basically a sandpaper-like little pebble texture. It's really grippy and it feels good. Now, if you get the magazine with the pinky rest, and it only adds, I mean, that's maybe a centimeter, maybe just under a centimeter to the back to how much is actually extended underneath the back strap there. Now we've got 13 rounds in the magazine. So 13 plus one, certainly an extremely high capacity for a teeny tiny, like less than an inch wide. Up at the slide, we're probably three quarters of an inch. I'll put the actual stats on the screen and the grip nice and skinny but it's also round around the back round around the sides and it feels extremely good this gun is very very planted in my hands does not move whatsoever yeah that's really nice honestly very very impressed i'm a big fan of my sig p3 I'm a big fan of my SIG P365, but the way this gun shoots, just how soft it is and how it's not trying whatsoever to rotate inside of my grip because of the really ergonomic shape of the grip and this really great pebble texture. Um, and something else, I don't know if it's the, the slide tuning, the timing of it, the recoil spring, but wow, this is a soft shooting really, really nice gun. I would definitely recommend getting your hands on this, getting to a range and shooting it. Uh, I think like me, you'll be very impressed with how this gun shoots. Check out the M&P 9 Shield Plus from Smith & Wesson. Go over to thetruthaboutguns.com for the full written reviews and photos and a comparison of this guy next to the Springfield Hellcat and next to the SIG P365 because they're all now competing for that same category of higher capacity sub-compact or micro-compact 9mm carry guns. Please like and subscribe, guys. We will see you out on the channel and on T-Tag next time.